Hello pre-calc classes. This is Mr. McAllen and we're going to try something new today. We're going to try a flipped classroom and we have a, I'm trying to keep this under 15 minutes if I can. So the objectives for today are we want to go over how to um, simplify radicals and rationalize denominators. A lot of these skills you may have already encountered or have already from a previous class, but this should be either review or I'll be showing it to you for the first time. So let's get started. On the first um, part, we want to go over how to simplify radicals. So as I do now, if you can, can you just find me the prime factorization for 200? That means um, what prime numbers would multiply to 200? I'm going to write down pause, and what I'd like you to do is try to do this, pause the video, and um, see if you can do it, and when you come back to the video, I will work out the solution. Well, hopefully you had the chance to work out the prime factorization. Now remember, all prime factorization is, is finding all the prime numbers that multiply to give you the desired number. And because it was 200, all these prime numbers, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, would multiply to give you 200. This skill is important because the first method we're going to use to simplify a radical as we have here, simplify the radical of the number radical 50 by using a prime factorization. In order to do this, we have to convert 50 to its prime factorization. So underneath the radical, I'm going to write down the numbers that give me 50. So I have 2 times, um, it basically it's uh, root 50 can be 2 times 25, which will then equal 2 times 5 times 5. And when you simplify a radical, because it's a square root, you want to take out whatever two prime numbers are being multiplied by each other or two identical numbers being multiplied. They come out as a pair, and that two represents that we remove pairs of numbers as just a single number. So the answer to this simplified would be 5 root 2. Now just be careful because a lot of times students will see the same work and then they'll write down that their answer is 2 root 5, and that's not correct because the number that came out of the radical was the 5 because it had a pair of 5s being multiplied. The next way we can simplify a radical is called uh, the square root method. So when we do the square root method, what you have to do is you're trying to identify which numbers of the square roots can be, or of perfect squares, can be factored out of the number under the radical. For example, I'll write down um, some perfect squares. So the perfect square starting from 1, moving upward, is uh, 1, then we have 4, then 3 squared would give you 9, uh, 4 squared would give you 16, 5 squared would give you 25, 6 squared would give you 36, four, um, 7 squared would give you 49. So what you want to do is you want to look at your number on the radical, and here's a shortcut to get through this. No square, uh, No perfect square higher than half that number will be possible. So when you look at root 50, you want to identify, are there any perfect squares? Uh, 25 or less that can be factored out of 50. And so what you do is you look at root 50 and you try to identify, are there any perfect squares that can be um, divided out of 50? And this happens to be a nice easy example because the first one we look at, the one right at the middle uh, from, uh, well, the one at half of 50 is 25. So we can just rewrite this as root 25 times root 2. That will make root 50. And we know how root 25 simplifies. That would just be 5 root 2. So hopefully when you work on a couple practice problems at the end of this lesson, you can incorporate either one of these methods, either using prime factorization or by using the square root method to help you simplify the radical. The last type of problem that this lesson is focused on is rationalizing a denominator. Now, when we want to rationalize a denominator, we want to remove the radical number from the uh, denominator. And all we have to do to do this for these types of problems is simply multiply numerator and denominator by the rooted number in the denominator. And the reason why we multiply top and bottom by root 5 over root 5 is because root 5 divided by root 5 is equal to 1. <clears throat> Multiplying by root 5 over root 5 will not change the original value of that fraction. As a result, 
we end up getting 3 root 5 over um, root 25, which simplifies to 3 root 5 over 5. And now my fraction will have been rationalized, or the denominator would have been rationalized. When you encounter, as in the second example, a radical over radical, just focus on the radical and the denominator. We're going to multiply top and bottom by root 3 over root 3. And when we multiply the top fraction by the, uh, the numerator by numerator and the denominator by denominator, we're going to get um, some people would write root 2 by root 3 all over root 9. Some people will just recognize that root 3 times root 3 is just equal to 3, and the top can be represented as root 6. So again, this is a reminder that when you have a radical number times another radical number, you can just, multi as long as a radical is the same type of radical, you can just multiply uh, the radicals as if they're numbers, and you'll get root 6. So um, this would be both examples. We have rationalized the denominators. Now what I'd like you to do is take a couple minutes and try out these example problems for simplifying the radicals, simplify root 45 and root 144, and rationalize the denominator of this fraction in number two. And then if you pause the video and work out these problems um, and then come back to the video, I'll have the solutions ready for you. Okay, class, so we're back. Hopefully you had some time to work that out. And in both of these problems, although I know the answer to the second one, 144, is 12, I want to still demonstrate the prime factorization method. So um, on root of 144, what I did over here was I have 144, and I broke it down into its prime factorization very carefully. This is a very simple way to do it. And uh, as you can see here, that when it finally broke down to its um, prime numbers, and I put them back on the radical, they group up in pairs of two. And the, these come out as one, two, and this other pair comes out as one, two, and this, these threes come out as one, two, making the final answer when you multiply two by two by three equal to 12. So that would be the square root of 144. Now I'm doing this a little bit out of order, but um, a lot of people just jump to 144 and say they know the answer, but um, I still want to, discuss with you the method for how we use prime factorization. On um, the one before that, root 45, you can see that we broke it down into prime factors, 3 times 3 times 5, and we were able to pull the 3 out in front of the root 5, not the other way around. Make sure you don't make this mistake and you say um, 5 root 3, because that's constantly a mistake that people make, either it's a transposition or they just don't understand what they're really removing from the radical. Last problem we'll do together. Hopefully you had a chance to try it. Remember, the, the bottom number here was there to throw you off um, just to make sure that you kind of ignored it because if you're trying to rationalize uh, the denominator and get rid of the root 7, you simply have to multiply top and bottom by root 7. Remember the reason again for root 7 over root 7 is because um, that fraction is equal to 1, so it's not like we're changing the original value of the fraction. And our answer would be 2 root 7. Notice the root 7 is moved to the numerator all over 3 times 7. And now the answer to this would be 2 root 7 over 21, and that would be your rationalized fraction. Hopefully this video has helped, and uh, tomorrow we'll be doing in class a worksheet on rationalizing fractions and simplifying radicals. Um, please make sure you print out the link associated with this video from, our web from the website so that we can work on the problems tomorrow.